To start off, we go to the house. Um, beginning from the sender of the signal, client or the user. Basically, the message signal starts from the analog, vo the voice that is sent through the telephone, going through the modem that passes through the splitter. The splitter is a device that divides the telephone signal to two or more signals that carries a selected frequency. Now, from the splitter, we the signal is sent to the control box. The control box serves as a link to the various devices connected and divided within the system. And from the control box, we end at the protector. Now, the signal coming from the protector passes through the aerial cable, which, is, which consists of copper wires. And as the signal progresses through the aerial cable, it ends at the terminal box. Uh, we will notice that there are a lot of terminal boxes that are connected to each other by uh, a, an aerial cable. Basically, this setup allows the message to be transmitted to different locations. Now, the signals coming from the different terminal boxes within the locality is terminated to the access gateway. Basically, the access gateway is stored in cabinets. That's why it's called the cross-connect cabinet. And there are several variations for a cabinet depending on the condition of the environment, like that of the curbside cabinet, which is placed inside a building. Now, the signal from the access gateway is then sent to the switching office. And unlike the interchange of signals from the terminal box to the access gateway, um, the medium being used here is a fiber optic cable basically for faster transmission of data. Now, we find ourselves at the Exchange or Central Office. Basically here we see that this is where the switching of the signals is done, uh, which is in charge of redirecting the intended signal to the intended receiver. Now, for example, uh, that the intended receiver is not within the locality, the signal is then sent to the inter-office trunk, which is then sent to another central exchange office. And once the receiver is within the locality of that exchange office, it is then sent to the access gateway, back to the terminal box, and into the um, device of the receiver. Now, let for, let's say, for example, that the intended signal is being sent over. What we do is, from the central exchange office, this again goes, the signal then passes through the inter-office trunk all the way to the international gateway. Between the international gateway is like an exchange office, although this one is connected in between, um, to other international gateways um, with other countries. Basically, the connection also uses fiber optic cables um, that are under underground or mostly submarine cables. The data from the submarine cables is transmitted to other dash submarines. Basically, uh, that explains our telecommunications network wherein we see the connections between the user from the phone, the modem, the switch, center, all the way to the terminal box. Through the access gateway, the central exchange office, uh, passing through the inter office trunks, and finally to the international gateway, which is then reverted back all the way to the phone or the intended device of the receiver.